quick disclaimer, guys, uh, to get the PXN force feedback to work on Dirt Rally 2.0, you have to go into their uh, pxn.com site right here, as you can see here, e-pxn.com, and you have to go to Tools. So once you go to Tools, you scroll down until you see V10 Dirt 2.0. Right here, PXN V10, you download this, and then you open up your Steam, you go to Dirt Rally 2, Properties, Browse Files, and you go to Input, Devices, and you unzip the file here. It's going to ask you if you want to replace it. You reply yes, and uh, close it up, and that way you're going to have force feedback on dirt 2.0 you can also do this for wrc we have the ea wrc you add this one as well now let's get back to the game so we go to pxn vd4 and then go to vibration and feedback and these are all my force feedback settings at the moment let me know if this helps you. Enjoy the rest of the video.
careful of wheel spin. You've got to get your timing right. That jump start means you've got an extra joker to do. Go, go, go! 
this pace, you're pulling away from the car behind. near the Joker exit, take care. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the uh, PXN VD4 direct drive wheel uh, racing on Dirt 2.0, Dirt Rally 2.0. Awesome, awesome game. I had to get back to this classic title and uh, showcase how this beautiful new wheel works. So I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, click on that bell icon for more awesome content and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.